the number of operational satellites in orbit around Earth has reached an all-time high and it has increased at a far greater rate during the last few years. For the first time in human history, there are now more than 10,000 functioning satellites around the Earth. It is a milestone that showcases decades of technical achievement. In the three main categories of Earth orbits, small satellites dominate the low Earth orbit, while large satellites dominate the geostationary orbit. Out of the active satellites, the majority are in low Earth orbits, mainly between 400 and 1200 kilometers from the Earth. These active satellites in space are likely just the beginning. Euroconsult's latest report predicts that over 2800 satellites will be launched annually, which is about 8 satellites per day between 2023 and 2032. Almost two-thirds of the currently active satellites belong to the SpaceX's constellation Starlink. And the service plans to increase the constellation size to over 12,000, with the potential to eventually expand to over 40,000 satellites in total. Apart from active satellites, there are over 3,200 spent rocket stages and dead satellites orbiting the Earth, and there are more than 26,000 pieces of debris that are larger than 10 cm in size. However, the actual number of space debris objects larger than 1 cm in size is over 1 million. These debris pieces are large enough to be capable of causing catastrophic damage. While the larger debris fragments are regularly tracked, trajectories of the smaller pieces are mostly unknown, and the collisions they can cause come entirely without warning. If we extrapolate current trends into the future, the collision numbers could rise significantly. The worst case scenario would be something called Kessler syndrome, a calamity in which a cascading series of orbital collisions leave a ring of thick, deadly debris circling over us at high speeds, essentially making orbital space inaccessible and impossible to navigate for any satellite. One important aspect to note is that the Starlink satellites orbit at 550 km above the Earth. Objects at this altitude usually don't remain cluttering space for too long after they cease operations. Even if their thrusters fail at the end of their missions and don't bring the satellite back to Earth's atmosphere to burn up immediately, these satellites' orbits naturally decay within a few years, thanks to atmospheric drag. This natural cleansing ability of Earth's orbit, however, declines with altitude. Above 1000 km, the atmosphere doesn't really do anything because it's so sparse. There, the numbers can only go up. However, the size and scale of the Starlink project concerns astronomers who fear that the bright orbiting objects will interfere with observations of the universe, as well as spaceflight experts who now see Starlink as the number one source of collision hazard in Earth's orbit. In addition to that, some scientists worry that the amount of metal that will be burning up in Earth's atmosphere as old satellites are deorbited could trigger unpredictable changes to the planet's climate. The near-Earth space is a finite resource and as per scientists, if we are not careful enough and ignore long-term sustainability of near-Earth space, our satellite communications, security infrastructure, and even the future of space exploration are all at risk.